All right, here we go, one. This is what I need. Everyone get on this football sideline over there. You can spread it out. We can all be in one line. Oh, yeah, here we that's go. a good point. DJ. This is uh, my favorite time of year. Like, it feels like Christmas morning, honestly. Um, as soon as lacrosse season ends, I'm doing something lacrosse related. And it, it's finally like one of those things where it feels like I've waited my turn and we've waited our turn as a team and now it's finally here. It's just, I get the same butterflies that I used to get when I was a player, even more as a coach. It, it just, last year was just so exciting and this year with the team that we have, it's just unbelievably exciting. So it feels like Christmas morning, honestly. I'm so excited to get the season going. I mean, I've been waiting for this season since the end of our last season. Obviously we went out with a, a really sour taste against Merrimack. Um, and ever since then, you know, even with the other sports I've been playing, it's this has really been this this upcoming Monday has really been the day I've been looking forward to because we have so much to prove this year and so much to go for. I'm really excited. This since this is my uh, senior year, I've been working with these guys for all of high school, so I'm really excited to see what we can do for my final year. I'm really excited. I've been I've been waiting for it all school year. I've I've been playing lacrosse for a while, and it's my main sport. And I've been waiting for it all year. I mean, more than excited than most years. Obviously, uh, it's a big year for us. We're looking to have a more successful season than the past years that I've been here. Um, like this year, our team's looking like, everyone's more motivated than ever. Um, we have a great team, great like foundational players that are, didn't go leave last year because they weren't seniors. So a good group of returning players. Um, but I mean, Monday is just like the start of a new season. Everything's new. So we're looking at us. It's going to be a great day. I'm excited. <laughs> It's always super exciting when you blow that whistle and get everyone to come in and just hear the excitement. Um, I'm really excited for the new guys. Uh, we have a really talented freshman class um, that had a fantastic middle school season last year, won the state championship. And they've really been watching this program and especially last year waiting their turn and, and seeing how successful they can be in the program. So I'm really excited to see them fly around in that scenario. Uh, and for the older guys, like you said, some guys are just chomping at the bit to get out there. They've been waiting since that Saturday night in June we lost. It, it's all that they've been thinking about, like myself. So it's just going to be super high energy uh, and, and a very exciting thing. I sit with a bunch of lacrosse guys there in lunch and we've all just, throughout the winter, we've been super excited for lacrosse to start. We've just been, every day, We at least it's been said that we just can't wait for the season to start. And we've all been practicing and all been lifting and stuff, so we're ready for it. All of that builds up to that day. In the school, it definitely takes longer to get through because you're waiting for the end of it the whole time. But um, yeah, I mean, it's always, obviously, a really extremely exciting day. Um, but yeah, definitely similar to Christmas morning feeling. 100% is that feeling. Uh, we've had uh, Wednesday indoor practices and we've had the indoor games. So we've gotten to have like a little bit of excitement get out, but really having the entire team here, because we had kids playing hockey, we had kids playing basketball, getting the entire team here and being on Monday, to, it's gonna be a great day. Like Christmas Eve, you're, you're thinking about just, when I wake up, it's gonna be so amazing. And, and that's almost the feeling that I've had Ever oh, like even since basketball ended, I've just been like thinking about that day when tryouts are going to start. Um, there's been so much anticipation. We know we're going to have a good team. We know that we're going to work hard in practice and do everything we can to make it to the end of the year. And all of that is starting on Monday. So um, being able to start on Monday and, and it's finally like in sight and reach. There's a lot of build up and excitement. saying to everyone is last year I had so many unknown unknowns and so I was going into the season feeling like I was fully prepared and then there was just something that I couldn't even think about 
that popped up and now I, I just feel like same thing as me teaching the same class. I know the questions that are going to be asked and I know how to answer them. And this year, last year, it felt so much like we have to build this culture and now it feels like that culture is built. We have the foundation and now I can do more of the fun things like work on different schemes and work on different game plans and different type of drills to make practice more engaging, more exciting to get more done. So I have a lot of known unknowns now, which is a lot, lot better than last year. So Red, if you get it, you're holding for 10 seconds. Can we try get it out? No, you're just running, you're running, you're running your tail off, all right? Uh, so it's going to be a five minute drill. White, you guys are going to be on offense first. You're trying to collect as many points as you can. So if you can get three passes, you get a point. really excited to see the freshmen but I mean I think right as we get out there Monday for the older kids um, everyone's gonna be ready to get back into it everyone's gonna be excited a lot of energy everything like that and um, once the younger kids like a couple of them will move up with us so I think everyone's pretty amped to see how those kids play with us um, if we see a lot of like success in like a couple players and that really like brings up the energy more because we have some new players coming in which is good for the team which we needed last year so uh, yeah, I think the energy will be high. Everyone's going to be excited and uh, a lot of motivation again coming into it. I think that uh, we're going to have some good players this year. Um, but then again, every other team also has really good players. So we're going to have to see what happens week one. And we're going to have to build off of that throughout the whole year. I know there's like a lot, we have a lot of returners coming, but we also have a lot of young people. So it's a good balance. And I know there's a lot of guys, older guys stepping up and I'm hoping to see them help the younger ones out. I have a younger brother, so I'm trying to help them all out as much as I can, just show them the steps and stuff. stuff. The first week is, is always going to be a little bit slow. Um, at, at Bedford especially, and, and for lacrosse more than any other sports, we have a large amount of freshmen that play. Like, There's always at least one, one or two freshmen that will be on varsity, play on varsity. And there will also be seniors who either haven't played in a while or you know, took a few years off who are coming back to the sport. And so getting everyone adjusted to our culture and our environment, which is something that we value so highly, is our, like, our culture is so important to us as a team. Um, that first week, it's kind of just going to be about making sure everyone's bonding and getting adjusted to being on this team.
mean, we were, last year, we were all so close and so tight, and the seniors, they were an amazing class. And then for us to go out the way we did when we almost went in expecting a win, uh, it was so unfortunate, like, having to see all of our seniors so upset. And so then that was definitely fuel to the fire for this offseason for me and for everyone else on this team. And uh, thinking about that has definitely motivated us to go to the fields more, um, be with each other more, be have a lacrosse stick in our hands more. And uh, it's going into the season, we just know, like, that's just – that's like one more motivating factor for us is, is knowing that we didn't end the end last year the way we wanted to. I definitely saw that. Uh, we had a lot of kids that they like lit a fire under their butt to really keep working. I knew they would have kept working no matter what. You could see there was extra motivation behind it throughout the whole offseason. It was definitely a bigger pep in everyone's step getting ready. More preparation than I'd say like most years because everyone has much more determination to really get not exactly get back in the team that we lost to, but get back in like the league and get right back into it and show what we really are. Cause I guess we couldn't do that last year based on that loss. But yeah, definitely a lot of motivation going into this year from that. I'll tell you this. I loved what I saw that, <coughs> that night when we lost. When we lost to BG, my first year as an assistant, it was how quickly can I get out of here? No one wanted to leave the field that night. And Kevin Sheridan and Spencer Hendershawn and a bunch of the juniors in that class, their, one of their roles last year was they were field generals, so they had to take the nets on and off the field. And they, I was going to get the net after the game. I just told the guys that they could leave and I'd take care of everything. And they said, Coach, that's our job. That's, that's part of our job, our team role. They got it. They finally understood. incredible and I come from a program in college I played at St. Anselm College that I saw the worst of the program my freshman year we were 2-11 and 11. Uh, coach Godreau who's at Pinkerton he spent time with his family which is an awesome decision for him um, but he left in the fall and we had a, a coaching staff that kind of was just put together and it was this toxic culture and my first year here that's what it kind of felt like with me as an assistant. And I felt very much accountable for that culture. And so I just saw all the potential of the youth program and the kids that we had coming up from the middle school, the resources, uh, the fact that every other team that season either won a state championship or was in the state championship. So the mindset of these players I just felt like we had to do a couple things to make the team chemistry go up and the guys to start to care about each other and care about the sport of lacrosse. And I knew once we hit that switch, we could take the program back to where we've been and to an, another level that we haven't even seen before. This program, uh, it's definitely in the past couple of years that expectations aren't always the highest. You know, we're always one of the better teams, but we're never really in contention for that top spot. And so coming into this, obviously some of us play other sports and I, like uh, I'm used this football season, we were used to being the, the top guys, but a lot of the, most of the kids on the team, most of the guys on the team, they really, um, it's, it's a new experience for us to 
um, be like one of those top contenders and be one of those to go into the season with some really high expectations. And um, I think it's not nervousness, it's excitement because it's we all know what we can be and we all know what we can achieve and it's just about getting to that point. Last season for hockey we made it all the way to the finals. Unfortunately we lost but I think just that experience is going to help help us when there's like other important games that we have to win. It'll help get the like nervous shooters out quicker so we can play our game and play better. I think it will help us because in those high pressure games where we're playing some big name teams, I think that since we've been in situations like playoff experiences, like for me personally with football, I'm kind of getting used to a little bit of the pressure. Obviously, I'm still going to be nervous before the game, just like every other player should be. But I think that having so many players getting used to that, is going to really help us keep cool and collected for uh, when we get into those big games. Obviously, we do want to win the championship, but I think as a team, especially as having a newer head coach, I think that even if we don't win the championship, us building a very good culture and the winning mentality for years to come, I think that's going to be a big impact on Bedford High School lacrosse. I think just our, just our overall growth, as long as we're all getting better as a team, I think that shows our success. And just from the start of the season, from the end, we can see, we'll see the difference of like our plays and stuff. If we're able to like build a new winning program, really, because I guess the year, past years haven't been too successful, but with a new coach, and we can show like the younger guys in Bedford that it's still like a great program to stay in. You don't need to leave to go anywhere to get better looks or whatever. Um, it's still a great program here. So if we can build that like narrative for Bedford High School, I think that'd be great. I really loved this year versus last year, we got a lot of eyes on you guys. I know at the end there, it seemed like some guys maybe were standing around. We know all of you and how you guys play, because uh, we've seen a lot of you throughout the winter. But don't be like discouraged if you have a bad play here or there. We don't care if you are dropping a pass. We really care about how you react to that pass. Obviously, you know we're going to dial in our stick. We're going to get better. Uh, but tomorrow, same deal. So the younger guys are going to be first. You guys are going to come in. Let's just try and stay off the field for a little bit longer. All right. But other than that, I love the energy level. Like Coach said at the beginning, we just want to keep it going throughout. We're looking, like I said at the beginning, we're doing some stuff because we feel like a lot of you have been with us for a while now that we want to put in some stuff that requires a lot of high IQ. So that's why we're starting to build it right now. We want to see who can take that high IQ, who's coaching guys in between drills, in between reps, right? But other than that, great job. Make sure you guys stretch, hydrate, uh, make sure nothing is left on the floor of the locker room. Other than that, the only last thing we have to do is we're going to sing happy birthday to our very own Alex Debris because it's his 18th and birthday. Will and Will Debris. And Will, will Debris. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We like the restaurant style, so I'm going to say the words. So here's a song for you twice. When I say it on the second time, you're going to say, hey, you ready? Yeah. Everyone, hands uh, available so you can clap. Call my lead. If you know the song, feel free to clap along. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Happy, happy. Thank you for all of us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.